Hello, hello, Kenny Evans here, another car video. Yeah, my camera angle is still a little, uh, a little different right now, but hey, we have to make do for now, so y'all be all right. But the title of this video is Signs She Is Using You. And, um, well, first, before we get into this, I want to remind the uh, new people or people who've been here for a while, subscribe, like, comment, you know, of course, hit that notification button so you can be notified for whenever um, I do make some new videos. And uh, yeah, I guess that's all we got right now. But now it's time to get into this here. Sign she is using you. So this is obviously talking about a girl you're either dating or, you know, you're potentially in a relationship with or, you know, a girl you like. You know what I mean? All these will relate. These five signs I got here for you. Obviously, this is very important. So, um... You're not wasting your time with the girl you like, but she doesn't really like you like that. And she's just using you. You know, I want you guys to be able to tell if the girl's using you so you can move on to a woman or women who actually like you and who you can actually have the advantage of, you know, having them with you, you know, and then wanting to be with you. You know what I mean? So this is pretty important and it's, uh, Something that could uh, help change your dating lives a little better if you apply it, of course. You know, so first sign is does she let you do most of the talking? And this may be a sign that most of you guys may not think is a big deal because you may think, oh, she's letting me talk because she wants to get to know me. And sure. That could be the case, but it should only be after she has already talked and has been talking after you've already gotten information out of her. Because it is a well-known fact that women love to talk. And women love to talk when they're around people who they really are comfortable with, one. And two, they like to be around. You know, and sure, you have those some women who who talk out of nerves, but that's where you got to be able to direct the conversation. But even then. You will not be doing most of the talking. But if a woman is letting you talk, it's a sign of lack of interest. It means she doesn't have that much interest and she's just kind of going with the motions. You know, what I mean, again, it's not if she's asking you questions after she's already you've already asked her questions and she's been talking, but she's like, oh, well, you know, I've been it's rude of me. Now I'm going to ask you some questions so I get to get to know you. That's different. But if you're doing like 90 percent, there's something wrong. The show she's really not that interested. And if she's not really that interested, you know, what do you either interact with her for or on a date with her for? You know, so that is a huge sign. She could be uh, using you. Sign number two. Does she like talking with you, but she never wants to meet up? You know, another huge red flag. Because it shows that, again, she likes your attention, but she just wants to keep it there. She doesn't ever want to meet up with you. She doesn't ever want to, you know, move forward with you. She just wants to be... Uh, your, 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 your friend, essentially, you know what I mean? So she's essentially using you for attention, you know? So it's important to realize that if a girl never wants to meet up, but she wants to talk with you on the phone for hours, you're just her male girlfriend, you know, <laughs> that's it. Our gay male girlfriend is, uh, <laughs> Coach Corey Wayne will put it, you know what I mean? But you should be spending more time 
in person than you should be on the phone. And presumably, you will be on a date while you guys are meeting up in person. You know, not like, oh, you're at the library or you guys are, you know, doing lunch, something that friends do. You shouldn't be associating with her in person as a friend because it's the same thing. You know what I mean? You know, so that is a huge one. If she wants to talk with you for hours or all the time but never wants to meet up, she's just using you for attention. She's not interested. And uh, number three. Does she not follow your lead? A very crucial sign. I talk about it in most of my videos. If she is not following your lead, but yet she is wanting to be around you, but not on a date, but she wants to be around you, she's using you for attention. Or maybe she likes how it looks to other people with her and you being together. So it kind of gives her a little bit of a clout. You know, we all know those guys, you know, rich dudes. You see them with these hot women. But yet, they never have sex. They never kiss. And that guy's paying all her bills. You know, doing everything for her. But he has not gotten anything sexual or intimate from her. And you know he he is definitely following her lead as opposed to her following his lead. You know, it's 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 very important to get with women who follow your lead because when they follow your lead, you know they want to be around you. And they really like you. And of course there's always those situations where a woman is following your lead because she wants something from you. But that's why you have to go through other vetting processes as well. But her following your lead is a better sign than it is a bad one. You know, so if she's not, that is, I mean, auto, that's bad off the bat. If a woman's not following your lead, that's bad off the bat. Regardless, you know. But sign number four. Are you always doing things for her, and, but she's never doing anything for you? I think that's pretty self-explanatory. You know, if you're always doing things for her, but she never wants to do anything for you, I mean, obviously she doesn't appreciate what you do, and she doesn't really care that much about you to want to make you happy. You know what I mean? It's all about her. You know, so she's showing through her actions that she doesn't really care. And it's all about what she could get out of you. You know? So, that's always something to look out for. And that's obviously happens mainly when guys get comfortable. You know? They get kind of secure. You know, oh, I got this girl. She's not doing it. She's not going anywhere. Um, but also, when they have the whole mindset, happy wife, happy life. Or the woman is the God. You know, and yeah, we want to, you know, make the women in our lives happy and make them feel appreciated. But it should come as a result of you wanting to, not feeling like you have to. You know, you should do it because you want to and not because uh, you have to or because she's telling you to, you know, so. That is definitely something to always uh, watch out for. And the fifth and final sign is, is she ungrateful for what you do for her? If that's not uh, the biggest sign potentially of the whole list, I don't know what is. Because it's like, if a woman is not appreciating what you do or is ungrateful, it again, it just shows she doesn't care. You know what I mean? She clearly is not in it because she, she cares about you or because she wants to make you happy. And clearly it shows that she is just in it because of what you could do for her. But she doesn't really care about it. It's just, hey, she's happy you're doing it. She doesn't appreciate, let me say, she cares about what you're doing, but she doesn't appreciate you for it. 
She doesn't appreciate you for it. You know what I mean? It's all about what she could get out of it and, and what you're doing for her. So, I mean, that's a huge one. Again, it usually comes from guys who have been in a long-term relationship got a, and gotten complacent. But you got to always stay on top of that. You know, we, we do go into relationships to give, as Coach Corwin will say. But if you are not getting in return what you, you feel you, you deserve or you, you would appreciate, you got to be willing to leave. You know what I mean? You got to be willing to leave. And again, have that abundance mindset. You know, because you always realize she may not be right for you right now. But there will be women out there. But there are women out there who who are right for you right now. You know, so an un- ungrateful woman is a miserable woman. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> definitely don't ever put up with that. But um, that's all I got for y'all today. You know, I hope y'all appreciate those signs. Definitely look out for them. You see any woman you're dealing with or you want to deal with, uh, uh, putting, uh, putting out those signs, run for the hills. You know, you're better off ra- without them, for sure. For sure, for sure. So, um, again, reminder, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know whether you agree with my signs or you don't, or if there's other signs that I missed. You know, hit the notification button for whenever I do upload other videos. Um, and again, I, I, I always say this, this channel is not for just me. It's for you guys. I want to help you guys. So let me know what other topics you guys want me to talk about. I appreciate all topics. You know what I mean? Because I want to be helping you guys be well-rounded uh, uh, individuals. You know what I mean? So not just about the dating. And, of course, if you found value in this video or if you just want to support me, you know, I appreciate all donations. You know, and uh, <laughs> and I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Any amount of counts. Um, but with that being said, until next week, y'all stay safe. And always remember, the strongest man is the happiest man. Peace.